All right, today let me share some of the new things coming to Wesley Chapel. Wesley Chapel is a suburb on the northeast side of the Tampa area. Here we go. I'm Sam and thanks for coming by the Living in Tampa channel where we make these videos for you about what it's like to live and move to Tampa. We're also a team of realtors here and would love a chance to earn your real estate business. Give us a call, text, or email anytime. Love to hop on a Zoom call and help you process your move, your, what you're thinking about, and see how we can best help. You've probably seen some of my other videos about Wesley Chapel. Wesley Chapel got really popular during the pandemic and some of the neighborhoods in the area drove some of that popularity. Some of it was just people were moving to the suburbs during the pandemic more than other times and this area just started growing pretty fast. When I do research for videos, I've come across some things that are coming to the Wesley Chapel area. I've been kind of putting together this little list. It's actually just three things. I wanna go in depth on a couple of these and show you the areas too. So these three things are just a couple things that are coming to Wesley Chapel that people are excited about. I'm sure there's some people out there that aren't excited about these things, but in general, the tone is excitement. All right, the first one we're gonna talk about is Two Rivers. This new master plan community over on the east side of the Wesley Chapel area. This new development will be a giant master plan community with residential and some commercial stuff in the area. There will be about 6,000 housing units. That's homes, townhouses, apartments. They will build some apartments near the commercial. And this will take years, right? This will take you know four or five years to build out this whole neighborhood. In, in researching this community, it was pretty interesting. A lot of this was farmland. A lot of this was cattle farms owned by a, one family that owned a bunch of this property over this way. And it has been farmland for a long time. Actually, the family selling a chunk of this off to a developer to build this big neighborhood was kind of a big deal. And a lot of people have opposed it. I was actually at a doctor's appointment not too long ago, just kind of a routine checkup, and I was asking the the nurse where she was where she lived in the area i'm always curious why people choose certain areas in, in the tampa area she told me she used to live in brandon and then brandon grew so fast that it kind of drove her crazy and so she moved to zephyr hills which is like the northeast side of wesley chapel with zephyr hills and wesley chapel overlap in a couple areas that are kind of confusing so she lives kind of way out there, almost to Dade City actually, which is the far north end of Zephyr Hills. So I said, oh, you probably drive down Highway 301 sometimes where Two Rivers is gonna be. What do you think of that new neighborhood that they're gonna put there? She was super skeptical of it because there's just very few roads that get there and then it backs up to preserve land on one side and then farmland on the other. I was surprised how skeptical she was about this neighborhood but it seems like it's going to be a really unique experience. Very similar to Angeline actually, where there is a lot of preserved space around it, where they can easily have trails and a lake and things like that. I'm really curious what it's going to kind of evolve into as the years go and as people start to fill it in. Actually, one of the sales reps from DR Horton, you know, which is a very big builder in the area, I've actually worked with this sales rep a couple times. She told me recently that she's going out to Two Rivers to be one of the sales reps out there. So I know that they are starting, the, they're marketing, they're starting to sell some of these properties, and, but it's gonna be big. And it's interesting seeing these really big neighborhoods come in. And let's let's hop into the, the, the second thing. It's another big neighborhood. This one is called Avalon Park. I'm pretty sure it's Avalon Park. I think the, the one that's really similar in Orlando is called Avalon West. And sometimes I've called this one Avalon West. Whatever, you guys get it. Same developer building a very similar thing. And what this one is seeking to do in the central area is really kind of build a downtown. And this is something that Wesley Chapel doesn't really have. Their downtowns are really just like shopping areas. Whether it's like, that's like the shops at Wiregrass or the Grove. Yeah, there are areas like at the Grove, there's the Crate, which is the big outdoor container eating area. There, there are interesting areas where you can kind of commune but Avalon, by creating this downtown vibe, could have more of a farmer's market space or a holiday kind of um, Christmas party kind of lighting ceremony. It could just have a, a different vibe. Actually, some recent videos I've made about West Chase, talking about West Park Village, where there's you know commercial boutiques down below and then apartments above. Avalon's going to have a very similar feel to that. And that's pretty interesting to me for this area. And that's gonna be up on Highway 54, kind of the northeast side of Wesley Chapel. 
But the downtown is not the only unique part of this. So this is up kind of close to Epperson, a big neighborhood, and Avalon is going to be so much bigger than Epperson. So I often combine Epperson and Murata when I talk about them, and that's about 4,000 homes. When you combine those two neighborhoods, Avalon is going to be about 4,500 homes. Of course, homes, townhouses, and those apartments above the commercial area. That's a very big neighborhood. The town that we just moved from, Tarpon Springs, had all kinds of fun, festive town stuff. Like first Fridays where they block off part of the like downtown street, the first Friday of every month, and it's like outdoor dining and you know vendors and stuff like that. Pretty cool setting. And one of the few towns in the area is to do something like that, so a lot of people would come in. Now Avalon creates the kind of opportunity to draw people in like that from all these surrounding areas around Wesley Chapel. And there's a lot of population around Wesley Chapel. Okay, and the third thing is this new development right next to the shops at Wiregrass. The shops at Wiregrass is right there at the corner of Highway 56. So 54 turns into 56 as you go east and 54 kind of jogs up and goes on the north side of Wesley Chapel. But then that State Road 56 crosses Bruce B. Downs, which is main north-south thoroughfare to the area. And right at the corner there is the shops at Wiregrass. If you go a little bit further north at Bruce B. Downs, there's a hospital, all kinds of stuff right there. The shops at Wiregrass was just purchased is going to get a nice little facelift, but a developer also purchased the area to the east of that open lot. It was treed, they cut down the trees. They're putting in a theater, restaurants, a specialty market, things like that. And there's not like a big theater in the area, so that, that'll be nice. I have little kids. I don't know when the last time I actually went to a theater was, but that would be nice for the area. The specialty market though, you know, people ask all the time, Where's Whole Foods, where's Trader Joe's, that kind of stuff. Based on the square footage of this one, I don't think it will be a Trader Joe's. I, it won't be an Aldi either though, which, you know, there's a lot of Aldis around here now, people are kind of tired of them. It's too big to be an Aldi, too big to be a Trader Joe's. It's about the size of a Whole Foods or of a Greenwise, which is Publix organic brand. So I'm pretty certain it will be one of those. It could be Fresh Market, those are the three best options that seem seem really likely. I'm curious what you would prefer in that area and what you think about all that. I'm pretty surprised there's not a Trader Joe's in that area at all, because between Wesley Chapel and Lutz and Lando Lakes and New Tampa, like the north side of Tampa, you would definitely have the demand for it. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they built one near the outlet mall, the Tampa Premium Outlets, which is technically in Lutz. It's right there on the border of Lutz and Wesley Chapel on the corner of Highway 54 and I-75. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they built one there or just in the shopping area to the north of there. That, that would be a good spot for it, I think. So another thing with this new development to the east of the shops at Wiregrass is people are excited about restaurants. There's been a few restaurants that have already signed leases or agreements, letters of intent, something like that on the on spaces there. But that could bring other new restaurants or better restaurants to the shops at Wiregrass as well. I'm sure the new developers that, that own the shops at Wiregrass with this facelift will be trying to draw in some other restaurants as well. I'm curious what you think Wesley Chapel is missing, what this area is missing, what you think it needs overall. Or maybe you feel like it's too full, it's got too much stuff, it's got everything people need and people just need to stop complaining. Either way, I'd love to hear from you. Call, text, or email anytime or leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for coming by.